How about this for a tough decision early on? Which direction they go here is going to say a lot about what this team wants to do. Boy, you talk about a friendly turn of the cards. This is a great round for these guys as they get themselves a dynamic player right here. Boy, you talk about a friendly turn of the cards. This is a great round for these guys as they get themselves a dynamic player right here. Does this pick fill a big need? I'm not so sure that it does, but it is at least a slight improvement over what they had in place. Still some big holes remaining to be filled. Here's where you may have to go after a lower rated player just to make sure you get coverage in all areas. Definitely some options with this pick. Do you take a skill player here or get yourself some help up front? Oh, no need to worry about this guy. Just plug him right to the starting role and he'll be a massive upgrade. Two now. Do you get yourself a big brute for the trenches or someone who can really help you out? And there's a pick that does fill a hole, but I'm not sure that it's really going to be the one that improves the overall squad a tremendous amount. Now it's getting to the time of the draft where you really want to get lucky and hope somebody falls into your lap. These are tough decisions here, offense or defense. Oh, and that's a key upgrade right there. He's versatile, athletic, and a big upgrade over what they had. Come by, bring a thing of crack. New grill and a bunch of snacks. Where we going? You don't need a map. You don't need... And now, which side of the football will they address here? Some interesting options either way. Join me. One thing, good vibes only. Well, not too tough to see into the thought process of that thing. crossing time now with the end in sight and a few more holes to fill you've got to be hoping that there's still a gem or two that becomes available okay. boy you talk about a talented player this guy's one of the best around
Thank you, Larry. So the picks are in. We welcome you to this draft champions contest. I'm Brandon Gaunt, along with Charles Davis, ready to call the action. And let's get to it. Down to the field. It's time for kickoff. It's the birth of a new club as we're underway in draft champions. Fielded about a yard deep. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he's brought down, but not before getting across midfield to the 45. A nice little completion there by Philip Rivers. And you and I were reading the article yesterday, fifth grade. Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations. So he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. Now a second down throw for Rivers. Going for the deep ball. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the longtime Raider, Willie Brown. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That can be a downside of putting together a team in draft champions week one. It's early. You might have some of these mistakes. You're exactly right, because it does take time to build chemistry, trust, right? Understanding where guys are going to be. And I think that's what led to the interception. They just don't know each other well enough yet. That should build up as the season goes on. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They'll go again with Kelly. And he's got room. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. I don't want to downplay the run, but that's exactly what I expected out of him coming out of college. When I look back at my draft analysis, one of the highest-rated players on my board, a three-down back who could do everything. And one of the best parts of his game is what he does when he doesn't have the football because he carries it really well, but he blocks equally as well, as well as pass protects for his quarterback. I think he's going to be special. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Demarius Thomas, the intended receiver, and it's third down. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. Looking deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches. Just a bunch of poor boys, daddy's girls, children of the cornfield. Trying to turn a shift job into a dollar bill. We wear the muddy boots, stay true to how we're raised. Ain't nothing about us fake. You know we're straight out of that dirty side. Dirty roads, nobody got no money. Got them signed up, pickup trucks, whistling at them. From the country, yes sir. You know we're straight out of Straight out of moonlight, straight. 
All right, Larry, hope everyone is settled in for a great draft champions contest here. Lucky to witness it. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. These guys that you see on your screen, they won't be witnessing. They will be participating in what should be an excellent game. Let's get down to the field. It's time for kick. Two teams here amped and ready for football. And off we go in week two of draft champions. This is fielded a couple yards deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Throwing on first down is Carr. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And he's brought down after a good game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football to throw his car. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Everything about that play was beautiful. A great corner route where the receiver worked the defensive back inside and then broke back to the outside to the corner. But how about the throw by the quarterback? Anticipation on the break from inside to outside. He threw the football as the receiver turned around. The ball greeted him. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You gotta give some credit there, able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms right, down. Car again here on second and ten. Flushed out right. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be design runs as well as his scrambles. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Jordan Reed. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his 4. work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Thomas, the lone receiver left. Now Rivers. And his first pass is incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. The first carry down for Rob Kelly. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. Third and long for Rivers. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go deep, back over the middle. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. On every
every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Carl try it again on second down. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Charles Johnson in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Play action. Now it's Carr. He's going to sling this deep downfield. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the longtime charger, Eric Weddle. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called, and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Time running out here on the play clock. They come out here in the eye. And they're not going to get this one off in time. It'll be a delay. The penalty on first down backs him up five. It's now first down at 15. This is Kelly. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They get one yard back there to make it second and 14. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Anytime you call man coverage against Larry Fitzgerald, you're really holding your breath as a defensive guy because his ability to run such precise routes and use that big frame that he has, that body against you, it's going to be very difficult to break past him. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A big play there. 47 yards. 